Family, can you believe I haven't made one of these since like April? If you're new here, you might not remember this series, especially if you came from TikTok, because when I started TikTok, I paused this, but we're gonna continue it and make up for lost time right now. This is the series where you see my latest sneakers and clothes way before any other platform, but also like what animes I'm watching, what video games I'm playing. Oh, and that new Valhalla Assassin's Creed just dropped, so we definitely talk about that today. Or even grooming products, so my favorite fragrances and colognes for the month, or what anime that I'm watching at the moment. Either way, this is the series where we get to just connect chill, get to know each other a little better. So sit back, maybe grab you a coffee or a snack and just, you know, get comfortable. We're about to just kick it for a minute, okay? Okay, first let's talk about all the newest shoes that I just got and starting with the more under the radar brands. The first one is Saya Collective. You probably know this brand really well if you already follow me on TikTok, Instagram here you've seen them plenty of times but this is the p-h-u-c-k racisms you know what the word is i can't say it because i'll get demonetized but that's what the addition of this shoe is you see the multicolored fly knit they have the clear soles the red details it's just a very beautiful shoe and actually my first black or mostly black side collective sneaker as well as my first translucent sole or like non foam sole so for anybody curious they're still just as comfortable as the foam ones they are a slight bit heavier because obviously it's a rubber sole now but the trade-off you get is that there's a lot more grippiness with the tread now because it's not a full foam sole you got that rubber to give you that great traction as you step so you definitely feel the difference but beyond that they're still just as comfortable in case you guys are curious and then we have my fusion 2.0s by carhu if you just saw my last outfit video that i dropped last week you've already seen these shoes in detail very mountaineering inspired in the colorway very old school in the silhouette, but again, another underrated brand that makes very high quality shoes with really unique details. You're just not gonna see anybody with these. So very happy I got them. And then we have these Vans Times Noter Old School LX. And these are from the Vans Volt Collection and they're in collaboration with a boutique based in Chicago, Illinois. The first thing that drew me in about these was the hairy suede. You see it's very long, very nappy. And the little swoosh on the side is called a jazz stripe. I'm not sure if y'all knew that. I used to work at the van store, so that's why I know that little tidbit of information for you. But instead of the usual leather jazz stripe, now you have the embroidered one with the handshake in the middle, which is not only Noter's signature symbol, but also symbolizing unity. If you look at the full pack they came in, they came in red, white, blue, and black, which is supposed to symbolize that they're unifying of America. I thought it was a really smart way to really, you know, use what they stand for as a brand, but I'm not gonna cap with you. I had no idea about any of this story until I knew about the shoe, after seeing the shoe and just liking the shoe. And then we have my Jordan 1 collection. And yes, you heard me right, collection. You know the first ones that I got, you saw my sneaker collection video recently, are the patent leather ones but then i got a deal with ebay on tiktok and they said what two shoes do you want so i picked the reverse breads and then i got the game royals as well those are the two ones that i liked and then i recently bought myself another two more so now i have a collection of five if my math is correct and i am very proud of myself especially these metallic blues and metallic reds is my two newest ones and they're just a beautiful beautiful shoe i'm definitely feeling them a lot especially the blue i feel like the blues has a little bit more luster or a little bit more sheen or metallicness more so than the red but they're both dope shoes and i'm really happy i got them okay now moving on to grooming and self-care i just got this brand new cologne brand new fragrance from a company called house of sillage they emailed me randomly like a few months ago it was like devin we want to send you a couple of our fragrances for you to try out of course i'm gonna say yes because i always want to try stuff out and if i like it i share it with y'all and here we go and not only do both of the scents that i have smell fancy but the packaging is fancy as well starting with the classic just take a look at the bottle for a second this is very regal and even has a top mechanism to when you hit the button it unsheathes the pump for the actual spray and then you can cover it back up again so you don't accidentally spray it if you pack it in your bag or something like that genius but super fancy i've never seen anything like that before now the scent itself is a mix of floral citrus 
I would say those are the strongest notes. And then like the bass notes or like the, you know, undertone is like a, like a cedar wood. Okay, so it smells very clean, very fresh, super pungent, strong projection. Like it's a strong cologne. I don't need nothing but a couple sprays. I'll be using it probably when I'm dressing a little more smart casual. I feel like I can't wear this and then wear a hoodie. It just smells really regal. It smells very fancy. And then we have the formal and you look at the bottle, it looks very black tie, very nice. Upper echelon it has the same mechanism up top, which I think is really cool to look at. So I'm gonna show you one more time. And this scent is exactly how it sounds. So not only is this a fancy brand, but this one is called Formal. So it's even more serious. So I would describe this one as kind of spicy. Like you get some strong pepper and wood notes in there right away. And I feel like to wear this, I need to be wearing a suit. Like it smells like Brooks Brothers would smell. Very classic, very like, you know, men's wear. You know, I like to wear suits and smoke my cigars and ride on yachts. It just feels like I need to really dress up for both of these. I've never had any scent that I've ever smelled, any fragrance that made me feel out of place, but still intrigued enough to like, like it. And my wife loves this one. So this is like the other date night cologne next to my Dolce and Gabbana the one. I don't know how that happened, but she really likes it. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep wearing it. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And you know I can't mention fragrance without my everyday driver, another 13 by Le Labo. This is my number one fragrance, my everyday. I can wear this with anything, anytime, anywhere. It's a very clean, sterile scent. It smells like the freshest of laundries with a tad bit of sweetness in there. It's a beautiful thing and that goes really well with my natural scent, so I love it. And another grooming favorite that I have is peppermint oil. Remember the tea tree oil mix that I made for my beard care video, but then it started breaking me out and giving me pimples every single day? The peppermint oil gives me the same benefits of stimulating growth in my beard, but not the side effects of breaking me out and clogging my pores, okay? So the last few months, I've made crazy improvement. I'm not sure if you can tell, looking at me, but your boy's skin is definitely improving steadily. Instead of like every day, it's like maybe a new blackhead or pimple like once every couple weeks, and I'm getting there. I'm changing my lifestyle too, as you guys know, exercising more, more water, eating right, etc. So I'm gonna meet it there eventually. It's like the peppermint oil, my lifestyle, and then geology. And for those of y'all that know me already, know this is the only skincare that I've ever used for like the last two years. I tried it for about a month, made a couple of videos on it, and because of y'all support, the brand noticed me, and then they started sponsoring videos on this channel. That's how it worked. I'm not sure if y'all knew that backstory, but either way, it's a very simple regimen. You get a face wash, an evening moisturizer, morning moisturizer, and under eye cream. That's it, very, very simple. And on top of that, the regimen is custom to you, meaning you tell them all the things that you're dealing with first, right? Whether it's dark under eyes, dry skin, greasy skin, breakouts, whatever it is, and they give you a custom regimen based off those things. It's a beautiful thing. And this time around, it gave me a very special discount code. Don't you know how with Netflix, you'll pay like $2 now, and then they'll charge you like $12 the next month? With this code I'm about to give you right now, this thing lasts you for life, okay? So Devin33 will get you 33% off your geology subscription for, for life, life, like forever. But the catch is, you know, it's always a catch. The catch is that only the first 100 people can do this. So good luck. Okay, now moving on to clothing, I gotta admit something. Cole Buxton is actually pretty dope. After my first sweatsuit from them and wearing it for a while and kind of getting used to the cropped fit, and they actually got looser over time too. I got like three sweatsuits from them now. So I got that color, I got the natural colorway, and I got a pitch black colorway too. I was wrong, okay? I'm admitting it, I was wrong at first. Got a couple new Naragi as well. They're the Japanese cousin to the cardigan, the brother of the kimono. This one is from a brand called Naked and Famous. It is made from sakiori denim, which is Japanese rag cloth made from recycled denim scraps. So it's very thick, very heavy, very much a fall winter Naragi. This next one is from Akashi Kama. This one has a black wave pattern on it. And it's one of my favorite newest ones. I've been wearing this a ton lately. Sometimes around the house if the AC is too cold or if I run into the store real quick. Just a great light layer to wear under something else heavier 
or just as a single layer if it's a warmer or like, you know, medium temperature day. And the newest one that I have from them is the Gosai Cardigan. So it's a very similar silhouette, but as you can see, it's much longer. It is made out of a knit material as opposed to like a structured woven material. So it's gonna feel a lot less like a shirt or a jacket and more so like a comfortable cozy hoodie or like the name suggests, a cardigan. And to keep it real with you, I'm not quite sure what I want to style with it just yet. When it comes to brands that I really want to support, and this brand's from my hometown of Oakland, so they got a special place in my heart. I'm not sure if y'all knew I was from Oakland, California, but that's where they're based. So anytime I wear their things brand new, I like to make sure to shoot something with it. So right now I'm shooting this video, but I want to shoot an outfit as well. Something else that I've really been diving into lately are unstructured overcoats, AKA duster jackets. I have two from ASOS that are like really oversized they're made of knit material. I usually wear these with my sweatsuits because they kind of complement something like this as a very casual overcoat-like garment. Then I have these two slightly dressier ones from All Saints. So depending on the outfit, if I want to dress it up or dress it down, I'm still able to have that unstructured feel, meaning that I don't have any lining, I have no padding inside of these, so they just feel very comfortable. It gives me a lot of range depending on my outfits. And do not let me get started on these oversized Airism tees by Uniqlo. These are my new favorite t-shirts from them. The sleeves are a little bit long, but if you cuff them a couple times, they fit perfectly. It's a nice boxy fit, so a lot of room for my belly, it covers that up. It's a great thing. So highly recommend it if you're into the oversized look or you wanna experiment with it, try yourself one of these t-shirts, thank me later. And the last update for the clothing section are my pattern pants for the fall winter season. What you're looking at right now is an early preview, all right? Some of these don't even fit right yet because I haven't gotten them tailored yet, but I want to show y'all how I'm coming this season, okay? I'm not playing with y'all with these patterns. I will link them down below. Most of them are ASOS, most of them are very affordable. Okay, now moving on to gaming. Your boy just got a few new systems and a new game on Xbox. So. First system I got that was new was an Oculus Quest 2. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some previews of this. The three games I have right now, Sariento or something like that, it's a ninja game, super hot. You gotta play super hot on there if you ain't played it yet. Crazy shooting game. It's about strategy and timing. It makes you have to like think three, four, five steps ahead. It's really fun. I have Creed Boxing with like the Creed movie but you're boxing a dude in front of you. That was the first game I played on there and that spooked me because the dude is hella big right in your face and it feels and looks so real, it's crazy. So that's one you gotta try. And I also got my hands on a Nintendo Switch. So now I'm playing Mario Kart like every night with my wife, we gotta play a couple rounds of Mario Kart before bed. Smash Bros, which I'm very rusty at right now. I haven't played that since 64, so Give me some time to get good, then I can start whooping y'all online. Three, Animal Crossing. Yep, that very cutesy game where you got a little character and they drop you on the island and then you gotta start crafting things and finding materials and fishing and then you go from a tent to a house then you expand your house and then you have this dope closet like I do and you see my outfit too. I know you see the outfit. Yeah, that's that Ash Ketchum outfit from Pokemon, yes. Fire, all right? Look at my closet. See what's going on in my closet right there. I got Deku's jacket from My Hero, Goku's Gi. You see what's going on. So if you also play Animal Crossing, let me know in the comments. And finally, the game that has been taking all of my time up, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It is so well written. It is such a good continuation of the series, the saga of Assassin's Creed. I've been enjoying it a lot for me. It is a nine out of 10. It's not a 10 out of 10 because it's been glitching on me and sometimes the game will freeze and I'll lose my progress. So I've just been saving every hour, every 30 minutes, just in case now. It might help if I upgrade my system. So I've been on Xbox for the last two, three years now, but PS5 might be calling my name. Or because I'm already with Xbox, should I just stay? Or should I go to PS5? Let me know in the comments because the next game I wanna get is Cyberpunk 20, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. If you are a gamer, especially an RPG gamer, it's no way you don't know about this game. It looks amazing. So hopefully it is amazing, but I don't want to play that on this. I want to play it on the next gen. Right now I got a Xbox One S or One X, whatever the newest one was before the big black box they have now, that's the one I got. It's cool, but if there's a better one and this new game's coming out, I want to play it on that. So let me know. 
okay? Now the final section in this video is my jewelry collection. I know I haven't made a jewelry update this year at all, but I will make one as soon as we go 2021, I promise you. For now, I'm gonna give you an update on my everyday wrist game, okay? So on the front, we have pearls from this company called Popular Jewelry. They're a store in New York, but they're like in the Canal Street area where all of the shops and stuff are. I've been curious about pearls for a minute, but I didn't want the basic circle pearls. So I got these oval oblong looking pearls. This skull bracelet is by a company called Degs and Sal. This next one is like a beaded silver bracelet by Jonas in New York. And then this rope bracelet is by W Brothers and this small chain bracelet is by Koss. I do shower in these, I sleep in these, I do everything in these, they never come off my wrist. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video. All all the way through. In fact, if you did, if you're one of my real ones, make sure to drop a comment right now and let me know. I will be leaving hearts on those comments of the folks that made it this far. So thank you so much. I appreciate your time and I will see you on the next one. Peace.